Taking the guns in the building. Hey, stacking it up to the ceiling. Yeah, we stacking it up to the ceiling. Whoa, we stacking it up to the ceiling. Open the run of the rags. 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 Well, what's up, people? This is the Steed. I'm back with another tutorial. Um, today, as you can see by the topic of the video, I'm gonna show you guys how you can run V9 and V11 plugins on Mac OS Mojave. Okay. Um, I know a lot of y'all probably have tried to install v9 plugins through wave central legacy on mojave and it tells you that some about the os um it's not compatible with the os but whatever you have installed on here from earlier plugins will continue to run so it's some simple steps that you're gonna have to do to get your v9s and your v11s to run on you um, I'm finna take y'all through the steps. I'm not gonna do the steps because I already have them installed. Um, but just trust me, this is how I installed them. Um, and just to show y'all that this is Mojave. This is Mojave, okay? So, let me take y'all through these steps. I'm not going to do the steps. I'm just going to take y'all to what y'all going to need to do and explain it to y'all. Okay, so the first thing that you need to do is. Of course, you want your dial to be closed. So the first thing that you're going to do is. You're going to go to your applications. You're going to find this right here. This waves thing. And you're going to send it to the trash. Okay. The next thing that you're going to do. Now for most of y'all to get to y'all library, y'all probably are going to hit option. Go up here to where it's go at. And then you're going to see library come up. And you'll click on that and take you to your library. So you want to go to your library. For me though, I have to do a different thing to get to my library. But you want to go to your library. And once you get to your library, you want to go to where it says audio. Once you get to audio, this audio folder, you want to look for your plugins folder. In your plugins folder, you have a components folder. Within that components folder, if you go all the way down until you see something called wave shell. You want to delete all well you don't want to delete it you just want to send it to the trash so you want to take your wave shells these things right here everything that say wave shell you want to send it to the trash all right go to your vst folder and do the same thing get rid of those files that say wave shell all of them send them to the trash same thing in your vst3 Send it to the trash. Everything that say wave shell. This right here is WPAPI. Send it to the trash. Okay. Now, the next step after this is. You want to go to your applications. You want to go in. You want to go ahead and get into Wave Central. Once you get into Wave Central, you want to go ahead and install all of your V11 plugins, okay? Once you install your V11 plugins, the next thing that you want to do is you want to go to Settings. And once you get to Settings, you want to run this thing right here called Version Organizer. So run the Organizer. After you run the Organizer, You want to go into your trash where you just put all of those files in. 
Now this is where things get a little bit complicated because the file that you just put in the trash is probably gonna have V9s and V11 plugins. It might have some V10s if you're running V10s. So what you wanna do is you wanna get rid of everything that says V10 and V11 that's in this file that you got in the trash right now, okay? Delete all of those. You don't need those anymore. So delete everything in the trash that says V11 or V10, unless you just running V11 and V10, okay? Now, once you do that, you wanna take all that stuff that's in the trash that says V9, that look like this, and you wanna put it back in your applications folder right here where it says where it's at. Put it right back in this in this little patch right here, or whatever it is. Then once you do that, you got some other stuff in the folder that has waves on it, okay? You wanna go get those files and put those files back into your library, okay? Um, I'm going to show you what those files look like again, so you won't forget. But you want to take these files right here. Uh, where they at? You're going to go to your library, go to audio, go to your plugins, and then you want to take those files and put them in this components folder. The files look like this. Okay. Gonna say wave shell 9.6 component then you might have wave shell 9.7 component or wave shell 10 component whichever ones you run it but take them and put them back in this folder okay do the same thing with the ones that have vst instead of it having component it's gonna have vst put those in the vst folder but you just want to put the ones in there that say 9.6 and 9.7 or whatever version you're running. You don't want the 11s and the 10s in there because your, your 11s and your 10s are already going to be installed probably. So after you do all that, go back to your applications. Go to this folder right here. And... The first thing that you want to do is you want to go into your wave shell 11 v11 and you want to click on these waves utilities when you click when you when you double click on these utilities it's going to pull this up welcome to wave shell audio units hit let's go when you hit let's go it's going to scan the computer for all your v11s do that with every one of these utilities okay then you want to go and you want to find your wave shell v9 when you find your wave shell v9 do the same thing right click on it you want to right click on it or double click on it and then you want to hit let's go it's going to scan everything it's going to scan your computer for all of your v9s you want to do that to both of these files or however many of them you see right there. Just scan them utilities. And then once you do that, um, you should be good to go. You know, you, sh you should be good to go with your plugins running. You should be able to pull up your, your V9s and your V11s, you know. And just to show y'all that this, this is V9s and V11s that's running. These are V9s and V11s. So that's V11. I just got that today, matter of fact. Um, yeah, I went and got that today. I'm a big fan of Waves plugins, so I went and got that today. But um, like, subscribe, and share. I hope I was able to help you guys. Um, I saw somebody out there was having the same problem that I was having when I first updated to version 11, and I wanted to keep my version 9s. So um, I hope this video helped you. Um, you might have to play it a couple of times but trust me if you take the steps that i'm telling you to take in this video you will be able to run your v9s and your v11 all right um like subscribe share thank y'all for watching make sure you share this because there's a lot of people out there having this same problem and by the way 
visit the link below so y'all can check out some of my music man and if y'all have some music leave it in the comments i'm definitely gonna go check it out secure niggas music thank you for watching hey take it to the building hey stack it up to the ceiling yeah we stack it up to the ceiling whoa we stack it up to the ceiling i'm gonna run up the racks I'm gonna run up the racks. I'm gonna run up the racks. I'm gonna run up the racks.